Hi, and welcome to Old Time Knowledge. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make another delicious Christmas hors d'oeuvre. Little appetizer, it's bacon cheese crackers. I don't know if there's a specific name for these, but I first learned how to make these from a, an older lady at my church over a decade ago. Um, she had brought them to a, a breakfast, a little breakfast gathering, and boy, these were so good. And I asked her how to make them, and she just told me, and it was so simple. And so I have enjoyed making them ever since. And I am using here a block of um, cheddar cheese that was actually in my freezer and I had let it come to room temp, not room temperature, I had let it come to temperature so it wasn't frozen anymore. So you see it's a little crumbly, but it's not a big deal because ultimately you're just wanting to make sure you get, you know, enough little pieces of cheese to put on the crackers. And we're going to be wrapping the crackers in bacon before we put them in an oven at 250 degrees for a couple of hours or an hour and a half, um, two hours, just keep an eye on it. You can have the temperature lower if you want, or you can have the temperature at 250. Um, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how long I had them in the oven at the end of the video, but I'm going to speed things up so you can see how I do this. And it really could not be easier. The only ingredients are cheddar cheese or whatever kind of cheese you like, bacon, and then club crackers, or you can use another kind of cracker. Um, you see how I quickly switched from my little cheese slicer to this knife because that cheese slicer just was not getting it on this, this cheese that had been frozen before. So let me speed things up. Okay, you can see that I cut those packages of bacon in half. I have two packages of bacon for the number of these that I'm going to do. Um, and I actually had to let it thaw for a little bit because it was kind of semi-frozen still. Um, and so you're just taking the cheese and putting it on the cracker and then you take a half strip of bacon and you just wrap it around the cracker and put it right on your baking tray, ideally with one of these little racks on it. Um, and you might wanna put aluminum foil underneath or not, it just depends on how how you are about wanting to clean up messes or whatever um, but it's going to drip obviously the baking grease as it's slowly cooking some of that baking grease is going to soak into those crackers which is delicious and for that matter if you want your crackers really cooked in the baking grease forget the lorette the rack and just put them right in your pan and they're going to soak up that baking grease and um that's totally up to you. <laughs> it's a little bit more grease than I want in the crackers, but um, this is this is so good. It's so easy to make, um, and I will say this: um, this is just regular bacon, like regular Oscar Mayer bacon. Um, I, I you know I'll use this or Smithfield or whatever. This is not ideal to do with thick slices of bacon, but you totally could also use thick slices of bacon. In my experience, it's just a little easier with the thin slices, especially since you're wrapping it around more than once um, and you're going to make a ton of these. And so anyway, let me just keep getting these wrapped and then I will bring you back when it's time to put them in the oven.
right, I've gotten those in the oven. Now I'm getting more pans ready and I don't have any more of those little racks. So I fashioned some for myself with chopsticks and the, the chopsticks worked fine. Um, I have, and I'm also using a different kind of cheese on these. I actually had already done another pan and put them in the oven before those, but I'm going to bring you back. And then I have a little bit of a cautionary tale, um, just because I ended up baking way too many of these at once in my oven. I had to have some on the bottom rack and then I had some on the top rack. The ones on the bottom rack did not fare as well. Um, it's okay. It's totally fine. But this is the one that was on the top rack. They are beautiful, they are perfect, they are everything I want them to be. And so these are a hit and I make these and our family gobbles them up and they're so loved. Now I'm gonna show you the ones that were on the bottom rack. Okay, look y'all, see those? They're kind of a little bit, they're a little bit too like overcooked right there. Those also used the other kind of cheese, the Gouda cheese. So, uh, but I think it's just they shouldn't that the, the, on the on that bottom rack they just were too hot down there, right near the element. Um, and but in this other tray they were okay, but I had one of those proper racks. It, it's a much smaller one, but it was a proper rack and it held them up off the pan, so it made a difference. It's you know you you live and you learn. It is what it is. Um, but in any case, I hope you'll make these. I hope you'll let me know what you think. As you see, four have already been taken from that larger pan and, and eaten because they're so good and so addicting. So anyway, this is a great appetizer. And stay tuned because I will have more Christmas recipes for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.